brand new season New show, new folks, new reasons New level, so you know we going up Start with the old, so you know we cleaning We gleaning, brand new story Got a podcast, come talk with Tori Got your feeling, new stories New podcast, come and talk with Tori Check it out, y'all. You don't want to miss it. I have some exciting things for you. Podcasting has become so popular in the last few years, y'all, and it's not even that hard. Go to anchor.com, set up your free account, and you can start your very own podcast. You can either record directly on the site or you can upload your own audio. There's even some editing tools. And the part that I like best, I can see how many people are listening to the podcast worldwide. Go check it out, y'all. Hey, y'all. What's up? I, if you're watching video, you can see that I'm recording on location. I am at the beach. I believe I am at Satellite Beach in Florida, in Melbourne, Florida. So this is a very peaceful, serene um, location and I'm, I'm just glad that I was able to come here after work today it's evening time so it should be getting dark pretty soon so I won't keep y'all long this week but um, now that Mardi Gras is over what's next um, like what all the fun is over you didn't drink all you can drink you, you didn't eat all that you can eat You've had enough fun to last you the, the rest of the year, <laughs> probably, probably five years. What's next, right? And so usually or typically in the Christian faith, they have what's called the Lenten period. And um, in New Orleans, New Orleans is like a French country. I mean, not country, a French city. And so um, I think growing up, I followed those traditions or whatever um, from the French based upon because my family grew up Catholic as well and Catholic is mainly French um, so I grew up with a lot of those tra uh, traditions and different things that they participated in and believed in even though I was never uh, I wasn't raised Catholic I should say although I did go to a Catholic high school uh, my parents, by, by the time I was born, my, my mother had converted to Baptist because my father is Baptist or he was going to a Baptist church. Um, and just off topic, I don't like to say I'm Baptist or Catholic or whatever. I'm Christian. I follow Christ. Um, all of those extra or side religions, we're all Christian. So that's what I like to classify myself as, as Christian. But in saying that, I do, like I said, I follow Christ and I follow his word, the Bible, the Holy Bible. And, and so some of the things that I still participate in following Mardi Gras, although I think most Catholics participate in this, um, uh oh, the wind is getting high, it's knocking my phone. But although most Catholics participate in it, um, I think it should be just Christians all around, not just Catholics. And I'm not really sure why I never learned this in a Baptist church, only um, as a result of my mother formerly being Catholic and me going to a Catholic high school. That's where I got most of that upbringing and um, I learned a lot of the habits that I now I still participate in I learned that from my mother and from my high school um, ooh, bug. <laughs> but so like I said after Mardi Gras there are some traditions or some things that we follow such as Lent Lent is the 40 day period beginning Ash Wednesday up until Easter or 
Wait, I can't remember. I remember last year, I was like, is it until Easter or is it until Good Friday? I can't remember. But the 40 days is that time period. It's in between Ash Wednesday or Mardi Gras. Ash Wednesday until Easter, Easter weekend. And during these 40 days, um, you know, we should set aside time, devoted strictly to God, um, fast from certain things, um, get rid of some toxins in our bodies, in our minds, in our thoughts, and focus, rely heavily on God. And so that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the Lenten period, the Lenten season, um, what we should be doing, what we could be doing um, to make sure that we have a successful Lenten season. And so, like I said, it's 40 days, and that represents um, that represents the time period in which you know God fasted for for or Jesus rather Jesus fasted for 40 days, 40 nights, um, and I, that's where this 40 day for Lenten period comes from when He fasted. Um, and it should be a reminder to the faithful, to the Christians, that Jesus died on a Friday. And so on, during the Lenten period, um, mainly Catholics, but Christians don't eat meat on Fridays. Um, they only eat seafood. And for a very long time, I followed that habit or ritual or tradition as well. I think last year may have been the first time that I didn't quite follow it. And I'm not really, Excuse me, I'm not really sure why um, why I didn't follow it or I just wasn't cognizant of it. I'm not really sure. But I do remember last year. Oh, the little thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do remember last year not really following it um, as heavily as before. And so... Um, Meat was, I have a few notes. Meat was chosen as a sacrifice because it is a celebratory food. And that may be true for most people, but what about vegetarians who don't eat meat at all? So it's not, it's not really true for everyone. Um, but I can see where meat would be a sacrifice to most people, you know, for those who do eat meat because they eat meat. Oh, we eat meat. <laughs> so I could see why, you know, sacrificing meat and, and transferring over to something else. But I think what many people do during the Lenten season is they go overboard with the seafood choices. And I keep, I'm sorry. And um, they go overboard with the seafood choices. They order these big old platters. And I'm like, just because you can't eat meat don't mean you order extra seafood or you have an extra seafood boil or you have extra crawfish but um, that's one thing that we do we go overboard during the Lenten season we we should be fasting but instead we're we're double eating almost um, and I'll get into fasting and things you know that stuff a little bit later on in the episode but you know like we should really get serious about or really just know what we're doing more than just doing it just out of habit you know we should make sure that we know why we're doing it and then once we know why we're doing it then we can become more serious and the main reason that we're doing it is to show our appreciation to God or to Jesus who died on the cross for us you know he went to Calvary for us and so that's why the whole idea of giving up meat um, on, I think it's Ash Wednesday, um, Fridays, and then Good Friday. Um, so, you know, like we have to just be more cognizant of what we're doing and why we're doing it. And I think that's, that's the whole basis of this, not basis, the whole gist of this episode today you know like be more serious guys um and not just you all me, me too um be more serious about what we're doing why we're doing it 
who we're doing it for, you know, because we should always remember that whatever we do, God should get the glory from what we're doing. Um, so I went on a little rant real quick. I'm sorry, but I had to. It felt good to get that out. <laughs> um, okay, so I did good. <laughs> Lenten season is a season we should all be focused on growing spiritually and refocusing our faith with God. And so, um, like I said, that's one reason why I still participate in, I had to move over to try to block those people. That's one reason I still participate in some of the um, Lenten traditions, such as, you know, not eating meat on Fridays, or just the fasting from certain things during the Lenten season because it's a time where I can make sure that I'm setting aside um, in my own personal religious growth and making sure that I'm focusing more on God, making sure that I give Him all of the glory. You know, I'm very intentional, I should say. I'm very intentional about um, everything that I do within those 40 days and I I pray that you are as well and I pray that it goes beyond those 40 days of Lenten season I pray that it goes um, into March April May June July August September October and November the whole year um, and so um, three three traditional practices Observe during Lent or prayer, fasting, and charity. And so those are three areas that we can focus on or we should be focused on during this Lenten season. Prayer, you know, praying to God morning, noon, night. Um, pray about anything. Pray about everything. Um, you know, your head is hurting. Pray to God. Your feet are hurting. Pray to God you don't like the way someone is treating you or someone else pray to God you did something wrong or not quite right pray to God you know form that relationship or build that relationship with God during this time of fasting during this Lenten season the second one um, fasting and so like I said I was going to get into this at this point fasting basically is giving up something that you really like um, as a sacrifice in order to grow whether it's you're growing um, mentally you're growing spiritually you're growing relation relationally I don't know if that's a word relation you're growing in your relationships um, so we should be fasting and most times we need to take something away as a sacrifice. Um, for the past few years, I haven't quite taken things away, but what I've done is I put more time to God. And that's my, um, that has been my primary mode of fasting, um, praying more and putting more time to God. Now, yes, I will fast from Starbucks coffee because everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows that I love my Starbucks. So I'll take, you know, take a week off from Starbucks. I'll fast from Starbucks or I'll fast from social media, which I usually do that like twice a year, um, sometimes more. Just all depends on what God tells me to do. Um, what else do I fast from? I fast from chocolate because I do like chocolate. You know, I fast from the things that I really like. I don't fast from TV because I hardly watch TV. But if you are the type of person who really enjoys watching TV, then maybe that could be, you know, the thing that you fast from during this Lenten season. Um, if you really like to, um, to go partying, I don't know then maybe you want to fast from partying, things like that. So uh, we talked about prayer, fasting, 
And another thing, some things only come through prayer and fasting. I mean, there's some things that you can get by just praying, some things you can get by just fasting, but some things, some other things only come through prayer and fasting. That's the word of God. And then the last thing is charity. And so um, I remember in college and law school, um, and even after law school, I, um, I would volunteer my time at old folks home or, um, or a boys and girls club, things like that. Um, and I think this year, I'm not gonna put it out into the atmosphere just yet. I have to pray on it some more, but there is something that I do want to start doing um, charity wise. And it's something that I wanna get my family on board with. Um, but I don't, like I said, I don't wanna discuss it here until we get it together. Um, but yeah, so, you know, just think about those things during this 40 day period of Lent, um, 40 day period of fasting, you know, prayer, fasting and charity. Those are your three things. Um, and so we shouldn't really give up something, like I said before, that we don't really care for that much or this could be something that isn't, um, isn't that big of a deal to us like for me like i said tv wouldn't be a good thing for me because i hardly watch tv anyway so uh, but starbucks that's a big thing for me so giving up starbucks would be um, a sacrifice in fact i had one today um, so if we really want to grow especially in our relationship with god we need to give something up for god like giving up bad habits, giving up bad attitudes, giving up, um, oh, give more, pray more, um, seek God more, spend more quality time with your family and friends, pray more, listen to more positive music, or listen to less negative music. Um, so these are some things that we can do, you know, some simple things um, in, in order to build our relationship with God. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else because I didn't write anything else in my notes. Um, on my way here, I was talking with a friend and they asked me, what was I going to give up? And so I have had time to think about that um and i still didn't think of what i would give up per se but like i said as as before i want to give more to god i want to be a living sacrifice for god i want to um be more um positive which i think i'm i'm growing in that area i want to be more patient um, with everybody. Um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to give up anything. Um, and prayerfully, maybe it'll come to me this evening or tomorrow morning, you know, something to give up. So what will you give up or what will you do for God during this 40 days of prayer and fasting? And Let's take it even further, not just 40 days. What will you do over the next month, the next three months, the next six months to build your relationship with Christ? I want to hear it. Let me know. Put in the comments below. See y'all.